Members of a national nonprofit are traveling the country and they're in town. They're training canines to help with search and rescue efforts. WKRG News 5's Alexa Daly takes you to the training in Pensacola, training that took one volunteer at one point on a space mission. Canines participated in scent tracking exercises Monday, skills that one day may help locate missing people or even criminal suspects. The training is all volunteer based for handlers like Denise Conrad, who got involved in the training accidentally more than 20 years ago. I ended up being in a group that I didn't know it was more than dog training. It was actually helping find lost persons. And because of the training, not just for the dogs, but for myself, um, I was able to go on the Columbia shuttle mission to find shuttle parts. So there's more skills than just training dogs. It's actually a lot of training that we have to do uh, to call when we get the call out to help in any way we can. Handlers and their dogs get called in by local law enforcement agencies to assist with the search and rescue. Let's say a child goes missing and they're called out. They can go to the house and have them take a pillowcase that the child slept on the night before or even an elderly person, show it to the dog because that odor is on there and the dog will find that specific person. The training sessions are sponsored by Spikes Canine Fund, a nonprofit founded by retired Navy SEAL James Hatch. Search and rescue canine handlers traveled from eight different states to Pensacola to learn the art of hard surface scent tracking. When you're tracking through an area like going down nine mile road, it's very busy, winds blowing, cars are taking the odor and pulling it. The dogs really have to be trained to be able to handle that environment and all those distractions and difficulties that you'd encounter. The course has assisted in multiple life-saving rescues. It's very rewarding that we all come together to do the best we can to use the dogs as a partner to find people because they have the nose. We just hold the end of the line and uh, like they say, just let the dog go, trust the dog, but it takes training. In Pensacola, Alexa Daly, WKRG News 5.